Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. I know I've been a little absent lately. Uh, I'm on a 90-hour work week, so thanks for sticking by with me. Uh, but I wanted to bring to your attention what's going on in Pittsburgh. I've done a couple videos, I'll try to link them above and in the, uh, the end cards here, where the city council and the mayor have basically said that we're going to ignore the, the preemption laws in the state, uh, in the state constitution in Pennsylvania, and we're also going to just turn our nose to the U.S. Constitution, and we're going to institute our own gun control within the city limits of Pittsburgh. Uh, it's been going back and forth for a little while. Uh, a couple weeks ago, they did their initial vote, the city council, and they approved it. Uh, they followed with a secondary vote, which was they, they voted to, to approve it again. And the mayor has just signed this. And uh, the good news is that even though these, uh, these six city council people and the mayor have conspired to violate state and federal law, uh, there have been multitude of lawsuits that have been filed within the last 48 hours. Uh, so I wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, two lawsuits were brought by the Firearms Owners Against Crime and the uh, Allegheny County Sportsman's League. They're suing the, uh, this group of uh, tyrants. And uh, on a, I guess, a grander scale, the Firearms Policy Coalition stepping in again to support Second Amendment rights here. Uh, and they are uh, filing lawsuit against the city of Pittsburgh, Mayor Peduto himself, and the city council people. And they're calling them the gun-grabbing gang of six. Uh, way to go, Firearms Policy Coalition. My friend Adam Kraut, uh, you're doing great work there. Also, Attorney Joshua Prince has jumped in on this one. Uh, so this is good news. Uh, they are going, bringing, they're bringing the fight right to them. You know, try to punch the, the tyrants right in the mouth. FPC has been stepping up constantly. And it's good to see that Second Amendment groups are actually taking the fight to these tyrants. Uh, so support those who support you. I'll also have a link in the description to the FPC's uh, section on their website for this case. It's being called PittsburghCase.com. Uh, you'll be able to read their complaint, read uh, what they're what their stance is, also chip in. Like I said, there's a link right there you can donate to this specific case. This stuff costs money. You know they're they're deep in the bump stock ban uh, lawsuit that's uh, going forward still. Uh, there's all kinds of things across the country that people are stepping up on, and they can't do this without money, unfortunately. It's the root of all evil. All this stuff costs money. So if you can chip in, you know, uh, skip McDonald's for the week and, and send them a little bit of money, I'm sure they'll greatly appreciate it. Or you can just go back and buy a shirt like I did. Uh, I joined and bought a shirt. That's my way of giving them a little money. Uh, so do the same. I'll also put in links in the description to the firearms against crime group and the Allegheny County Sportsman's League. So you want to uh, see if you can contact them if you want to help out monetarily there as well. I'll have that in the description. Uh, for your perusal. Um, it's good news. It's bad news that we have people in government who are elected to represent people and follow, you know, they're sworn to uphold and protect the Constitution. They don't do that anymore, and it's good to see that legally people are trying to stick it right up where the sun doesn't shine. So, I just thought I'd give you that heads up. Uh, thank you for sticking by. It's been really, really hard for me the last couple weeks. Had a lot of changes here in the family and stuff like that. So, thanks for sticking by. Uh, calmer tides are coming. Uh, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention. So please forward this. If you're in Pittsburgh, there's help <laughs> hopefully coming. Um, three lawsuits are already filed, and uh, we'll see where this goes. Uh, please pass this along. The people that live in Pennsylvania, specifically Pittsburgh, they need our help. The closer we are as, an, as a group, as a community, the stronger we'll all be. Till we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapon. Take care, everybody.